to my channel. Today's video is going to be another mini try on haul. And um, it's a little bit different because it is for the men or the girls that like to wear guy clothes. So let's just get into it. Okay, so first, I just wanted to talk about this packaging. I feel like even though it's like simple, it's really cute. It's like a little Ziploc bag with their name on it. And I really think that they distinguish themselves against a wide variety of competitors that only sell online like them. So yeah. And now, let's talk about the shipping. Okay. So shipping is free over $50, but it takes like two to three weeks to get here. So I wasn't going to do that. So I paid $12 and it still took like five days to get here. And when you pay $12 in shipping, you expect it to get here in like two to three days. Okay. So uh, that was definitely a disappointment. So. Let me show you what I got, okay? So first up, we have these olive green drawstring pants. I did get in an extra large. They cost $6 and the material is Rylon, but I do want to say that the material is pretty thin. Um, I would definitely recommend, if you were to go and buy this, you would definitely need to wear this in the summer or the spring. And I believe that you could get away with it in the fall if it was like a warmer day. So I do think that these pants are very versatile just because to me they feel like they can be dressed up or down just because of the, the look of them. They're so casual but also they have like this texture on it that makes it look expensive and it and honestly it does feel like really nice it has some pockets in there and it also has a pocket on the back that's not real <laughs> it's like a faux pocket and then it has like these black drawstrings and a and these little silver things on the drawstrings or aglets on the drawstrings like I was saying, I think that these are very versatile because of the feel and the style of this. I believe that you could dress it up, obviously, with a turtleneck because I love turtlenecks. Or I really think that if you really wanted to, you could get away with wearing a maybe like a cream colored hoodie with this. I would definitely, for the price, since it was like $6, I would definitely rate this a 10 because for $6, it definitely exceeded my <laughs> expectations. So next up, we have this knit sweater in beige, or I would say like an oat color. I did get it in a large. It cost me $22, and I honestly don't think that it was worth $22 because of literally how thin it is. It's not like super thin, but on the picture, it definitely looks like it's a thicker sweater. It definitely has like some holes and stuff in it that I don't like. But if you're wondering what the material was for this, it is made out of polyester and nylon. Just because it's so thin, I wouldn't recommend you wearing it by itself. You could like put over a leather jacket or something with it. If it is like a warmer day, like in the 50s or 60s, you would definitely get away with wearing this. You wouldn't be as cold. If you were to purchase this, I definitely match this up with some light colored jeans or you could match it up with the drawstring pants like I showed you before, but obviously maybe like a different color. Next what we have is this ribbed high neck t-shirt. It cost me $19. Got it in a size large and the material on this is uh, spandex, polyester, and rayon. And basically I honestly think that this shirt was definitely worth $19 because it is super heavy and I feel like it's super durable. The stitching is very well. It does have like this ribbed material. This material is super soft. And what I do like about this shirt is that it has the high neck on it, which <laughs> you do fold it down. Then it does have like these slits on the side. So if you were to buy this, you could definitely pair this with the uh, the olive green drawstring pants that I showed you from before. And you also could pair this with like a khaki colored pants as well. This is a very good quality shirt. It's very soft and it's very heavy so you could definitely wear this in like 50 degree weather and still be warm. And you definitely don't need it like a 
like a heavier jacket over top of this you could just wear a lighter jacket and you'll be fine okay so these are another pair of drawstring pants they have like this textured print which is like a stripe that's why i bought them because they're really cute they give me hipster vibes especially because of the print on the on the pants and then they have like this white drawstring with the silver aglet some pockets and it does have a faux pocket in the back i got these in an extra large and they did cost 13 dollars so these are made out of polyester and a little bit of spandex, but the material is super freaking thin. I thought the other pants were thin, but no, these are thin. You could only wear these in the summer or the spring, depending on how like warm it is outside. But if you tried to wear these in the fall or winter, you would definitely be cold. But if you're one of those people that you can wear shorts in the winter or, or fall, you'll be fine, but it's really thin. Definitely feels really cheap because of how thin it is, but it was only $13, so what do I expect? You know what I mean? If you don't care about how thin it is and you do decide to get this, you could definitely dress it up with the rib knit t-shirt that I showed, high neck t-shirt that I showed you before. That would definitely go with this or like a regular t-shirt that is like the same color as that. The picture on Shein, the model was wearing a like button down shirt that definitely would go with this with some casual sneakers or whatever. I really wish that the material would have been a little bit thicker so then it could be a little bit more durable for colder weather but for $13 it's not that bad but I would rank this probably like a 6 because I definitely got the other drawstring pants that had a thicker material for $6 but yeah so on to the next thing. So next up is this rib knit shirt and short set. It comes in a baby blue or if you want to be technical it is a pastel blue. I got it in an extra large and it did cost $21. And this is what the shorts look like. So the material of this is spandex and polyester. The material is very thin, very flowy, and very, very stretchy. Just because of the color and the style and fit of this, I would definitely recommend this for the spring or the summer. This is definitely a spring color, pastel blue, you know what I'm talking about. So this set is definitely thin, but it's not as thin as the pants that I've shown you before. The material is very soft and stretchy, so I definitely would give this like a, set, a, a 7 out of 10. And if you were to buy this set, there's not much that you need to do, obviously, because it is a set. But to dress this up, I would add some white casual sneakers. And then if you do get a little cold, it gets a little breezy out there, you could top it off with a light denim jacket. Alright guys, thank you for coming along and watching this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this, please comment what you liked, comment what you don't like. And I'll see you guys in part two. Alright, bye!